Okay. Let's get the rest of these generators going. I don't know how much energy is left to do on that, but that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, and then the Mark V chassis. Okay. First off, I need a logistics pipe, which means two diamonds to start, because I need diamond pipes to begin with. Then, I believe I'm actually going to need some couple of gears upgraded to stone and then I don't have any iron on me okay eight eight upgrade the two stone gears to iron then gold, and then we want the Mark V, basic logistics pipe. I need two redstone torches, like that, that, there we go, two redstone torches, one diamond transport, four pieces of glass, there we go. And then I need four diamond and four gold blocks. One, two, three, four. And then just give me a stack of the gold blocks. Hello. How's it going? One ch logistics chassis mark five. I'll recharge this thing. Okay. Oh, my word. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm going to crack it wide open by more than 20 minutes. As long as I, you know, didn't forget something. I'm still waiting for these geothermal generators to finish the uh, thing. So we get the chassis in there. Just waiting on the generators now. Is there anybody on? No, the black one is, um, wait, why isn't the black one on? So, Blutricity, Collector Mark Three, Medium Voltage Solar, Splash, Chassis, Frame Motor, Geothermal Squeezer. 
I'm pretty sure I did the geothermal. I mean, I, that would be weird if I forgot to do that, but I'll toss another one in just in case. Uh, biofuel, centrifuge, ender, builder, iron, companion. Yeah. Oh, right. There, two of them are supposed to not be lit up. The black one and the purple one there. The uh, One of them is the um, EU. And then the other one is the uh, medium voltage solar array, which is sitting right there. And I've got a wrench on me in lossless wrench mode. So I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm almost completely done. All I have to do is wait for, the, uh, wait for it to finish filling up. And it's close. It should happen any moment now. Mm-hmm. Since it's taking its time, though, I think I'm going to nick this. Yeah, I, sh I should have started the uh, energy for Industrial Craft 2 ages ago. It would have finished earlier. Because now that's, that's all I'm waiting on. Hello. No, I haven't done the bedrock yet, and I'm not actually I'm not allowed to show you the bedrock. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, what can I do to speed this up? I know what I can do to speed this up. Let's see. I need a diamond. Or two, or three, maybe. Or maybe more. Or maybe I won't need as many as I thought. Oh well. And I have no idea if you can just stick an energy crystal in it and have it work. Looks like I'm not going to need all of them. Okay, let's go up back up top.
More energy. Come on. I gotta put 10 million EU into this thing, so it, it takes a little while. And all these geothermal generators going. Although, actually, now that I think about it, there's something else I can do to make this even better. Based on the way that Industrial Craft 2 Energy works. Yeah. That should actually send it faster. Yes, but... Well... I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, I'll have to think about it. The thing is, is the generators only output at 10 a second. The MFE outputs at 128 EU a second, or per tick. With all the energy loss, I don't know. This could very easily be better. I need to do some math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is it 20? I thought it was only 10. Huh. 